welcome to the first episode of the Gran Turismo 7 Let's Play. So, I know I'm late, but this is my fault. I had a couple of issues. My video got blocked twice. Uh, I know Nick from like AR12 is on episode like 7 of his Let's Play. I'm not there. I'm only starting now. Apologies for only being late. Yeah. And I also had this video already edited everything, then in processing, the video got corrupted, so I have to do it again. Okay, so once you actually load into Gran Turismo 7 for the first time, they're gonna make you do a music rally. Genuinely, in my opinion, it's gonna be the only music rally you're gonna do. So, once you come in, you meet Sarah, she basically just asks you, hey, this is the first time you're playing any of the Gran Turismo games. You say yes, say no. If you say no, you just get skipped to the use car a lot because it's like, okay, you know what's happening. So they actually give us three choices right now. They give us the Honda Fit Hybrid, the Aqua S, and the Mazda de Mayo. So that's the three cars that we can pick of pick out of for our first vehicle so I'm actually thinking about going for the Mazda because it's cheapest and I am honestly a, I'm broke money is hard to come by in this game so you always gotta think about that before you just go and spend a million dollars on a car when are you gonna make the money back so I thought you know what let me look at the stats at the price of the vehicles and I knew okay I'm gonna go for a Mazda, but before I actually picked it up, I thought, hey, you know, let's scroll through just to see what other cars are in the used car lot. It's a R34, E30 BM, Porsches, Mitsubishi, 350s, but can't afford them, so we jump in our Mazda. You know, honestly, first purchase, not too crazy of a vehicle, so. It gives us 12 points. The points are very key to our progress through the game. So, the more cars you get, the more points you get, the faster you level up. So, just just remember that. And the text is just basically explaining that. Okay, so now we're going to go from here. We're going to go on over to our garage. Okay, now that we are in our garage, we're just going to take a look at our car. You know, Gran Turismo, one thing, the attention to detail, how accurate they are with the interiors and things like that, crazy. Okay, you can see I have now three cars in the garage already. That's because I pre-ordered the game. I've waited a long time for this game, so the first opportunity to buy it, I bought it. Okay, then we come over to the car collection and we can see there are a lot of cars to collect. Like when I tell you we're gonna fill this book up and yeah it's gonna take a long time but we're gonna do it we're gonna fill this book up okay so after this we just head on over to the cafe okay so we come to a little tranquil cafe in the woods why is it in the woods no one knows but it's in the forest so we see our Mazda wow just a stunning vehicle. Look at that. Look at that. Damn. And we are introduced to Luca. So Luca is the know-it-all. He is king in this game. He knows everything. So when Luca speaks, I'm not really going to talk over him because it's kind of rude, you know. But for everyone else, it's fine. But Luca, no. Luca, no. Luca, talk. Keep quiet. He controls all the menu books. So... He controls your fate in the game. So our first menu book is to actually com collect Japanese compact cars as Luke is saying. So as I said, Luke is talking, make you quiet. Okay, so first menu book, Japanese compact cards. So we need to collect the same first three cards that are our options. So remember, if you have to buy a car, 
there are in the tree go for the cheapest one and you'll just get others for free or try not to buy cars that are on the menu book because plus trust me it will save you a lot of money like a lot of money okay so now we unlocked the world circuit so we can actually go and do some races and we actually unlock showcase so if you want to upload your liveries race clips helmet designs all of that you can so let's see what our first race is okay so our first race is actually a sunday cup around northern isle speedway it's five laps around an oval track so nothing too crazy nothing too difficult so yeah let's see how the mans will actually perform because it's basically just high speed so yeah okay and let's go racing so as you can see we are on track now and we have to just basically try and get first only eight cars in the race so that shouldn't be too difficult overtake some small convertible hondas real quick so those cars aren't gonna be sitting blistering lap times if they're gonna be passed by a Mazda Camille. Talking about that, that's actually a car we just overtook and looks like we are about to overtake another one, DJ Khaled, another one. So we go around him on the outside, let you keep your foot planted in this race, you don't need to let off your knees break. So if you actually do wanna slow down, just turn in hard and it should slow the vehicle down. So now we just chase down the top three. As you can see, we are actually gaining slowly. Bus overtake the Prius. I mean, everyone overtakes the Prius. Then we have the Honda Aqua and the Honda Fit. Did I say Honda Aqua? The Toyota Aqua, apologies for that. Don't, don't, don't rain on me on the comments. Please comment. Let me know how you feel about this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. So first place, once I'm in first place, I skip the rest of the race if nothing interesting happens. So, okay, and across the finish line, first place, as always, that's what we're aiming for. So we see one second lead, I mean it's decent. Yeah, our prize money 7,500 for first for first place including the clean race bonus clean race bonus is important guys please it is very important you have to oh level two we level up very nice clean race one always try to do a clean race trust me that extra 50 percent will take you far okay let's go on to race number two okay so for the second sunday cup we are actually at the autodrome lago margaria uh, i'm butchering this name i'm not even gonna lie i just butchered that name so let's just see when we start racing okay and we are starting in last place as always and uh, overtake the honda i said s660 never heard of it okay we're coming up on a big body mazda honestly up the inside of it easy really went wide prius up the inside now please watch this do this mazda why is he braking so hard i mean climbing the whole curb and all what is wrong with him okay so honestly it's just a chase now got some traction off we don't need it we're not going to be losing control of the back or anything so fly past the Mazda why is it? fly past the Honda past the Prius so we in second place within the first lap so we actually went around the last turn right now and it's basically just us chasing down the Honda Fit so as we've seen from previous races this car can outrun the Honda so across the line we actually just get him so, as I said, if I go into first and nothing interesting happens, we skip. And just like that, cross the line in first place. So, let's see if we can check the time gap quickly. Four second lead. Quite impressive. I mean, I had a whole lap to pull that length out. Another 7,500. As I said, that money will take you far in the 
actually won't take you far in the game but it will help you in the game okay so now we add the uh, on the fit to our fleet 16 points not really a large amount of points but added now let's just head on over to race number three okay and for our third race we actually add broad bean raceway or the baked bean race. we add bb raceway i don't know you can choose what bean you want it to be so we actually it's not a crazy difficult race at all it's very similar to the first race where it's just put your foot flat i think there's only one turn that you have to actually pray for but other than that it's just foot down slipstream people and just try and get the win so we go past the s660 almost bang the wall dive up on the inside I don't know why I like that move, but dived up on the inside of the Mazda. Now we're just chasing down the other big body Mazda, and is that the Honda Fit? It is a Honda Fit indeed. So we just come battling down towards him, overtake the Mazda. Mazda try to take me out there. You will see the nice small Honda beat, actually in third place. Quite proud of that vehicle because I know that vehicle is slow as dirt. Okay, so on the foot, we're gonna try and slipstream up him. Choop! That's kind of sus. On the apex, don't hit the wall, bang the wall sadly. Okay, and now it's the hunt for first place. I looked up, I saw final lap. There's a three second lead. Can we cut that down in time? I don't know. We went around seemingly the last corner because it's just that bang turn down to two seconds we are closing in does the Mazda have enough power to bring it in to bring it home will we be taking our first L of this game and sadly yes so we retry and you know what happens okay so we're coming up around the last turn on the last lap hunting down the Toyota Aqua S Same story as last time Does the Mazda have enough power? We pulling We are gaining on him But the race is over already I did not realize the finish line was so close To the beginning of that turn So Second place First loss Look how sad my character is He is giving up on life So We actually lose 3000 that's how important it is to try and get first place. Wow, it's a, it's a big chunk of change. So the Toyota Aqua is now ours. 12, 12 points there. I think 12 points added to a collector standing. So we need to just head back over to the cafe and see what is our next task. Okay, so basically Luca is now just going to explain why these vehicles are important or what influence they have in the motoring world. So... Whenever he does that, I'm just gonna skip it because I'm working on a separate video of having all of the special things about the vehicles in one single video. So if that's something you are interested in, I do recommend you subscribe, stay around for that. Okay, menu book 2. Basically, it's just us. We need to go to a license center and try out our first ever license event okay so the first license activity is quite simple it's just accelerate and brake that's it do it as fast as possible to get gold if you collect all gold on the license challenges they give you a special vehicle so that's a good reason for you to try and get gold Okay, so now we just need to head on over back to the cafe to move on to our third menu book. Episode 1 and we're already on our third menu book. Kind of zooming through this thing to be honest with you. So, we're back at the cafe now. Luca's just gonna tell us, oh, you did so well. I'm proud of you. What's what, 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 what. I'm your father. You know, you know the, you know the truth. 
so he actually plugs Gran Turismo live here. Yeah? So once since he did that, I think it's also time I plug the channel. So if you are enjoying the content so far, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Would be greatly appreciated. Bringing more Gran Turismo content to you, as there is a ton of it with this game. So yeah, when you three German compact cars, I'm sorry, classic German compact cars. Recommendation car is the Mark 1 Call of GTI. Honestly, a fabulous vehicle, stunning to drive. Um, yeah. Okay, so for our first race, we are actually at Brands, Brands Hatch in the circuit. So it's a two lap race, nothing too strenuous. So we're just gonna see how the Mazda actually copes with these classic European cars. It should demolish them as modern technology has improved vehicles but at the same time it's a very eco-friendly Mazda so I don't know how well it'll do dominating the competition but anyway let's go racing so we start back of the pack as always eight cars in the race so we actually see a mini Hooper just heads up first time break because trust me, running off on that turn, it's not pleasant. So up the inside of the Mini Cooper and Golf 1. So, very quite easy. We then, we're going to come up on the inside of the bus right here. The bus is really is like no competition that you have to find. They have to just fill up the track. So, as I said, see the power difference zoom in past they left them in the shadow realm left them in the nether put them in a different dimension took them to gapplebees okay so basically now it's just a game of catch up because it's a four second gap between us and first and a two second gap between us and second so the man has to work a little bit over time to put his foot down and try and catch up and it actually does look at that the time is dropping now you don't want to overcook it don't end up in the sand because that will be your race over so we are actually up on the back of the part up the inside again honestly going up the inside is honestly just one of the easier moves to do then once you hit the top turn here yeah, you go on the other side and you just go down the hill you let gravity help you out and just overtake so once I'm in first, nothing interesting happens. So we skip to the end of the race and across the line. So that is first place done and dusted. First place, you know that is what we do. You know, we really we we crashed these small European cars. Seven thousand five hundred clean race bonus. You know, it's just uh, just something we do. So we get the beetle. Yeah, we get the first push in the game, so that's nice. 40 points! Damn! Okay, so now we just wait and move on to race number two. Okay, race number two, Sunday Cup at Goodwood Motor Circuit. Two laps, generally the, these races in the beginning of the game are usually two laps because they don't want you to do an endurance in the beginning of the game. Okay, so we actually start at the back of the pack as we always do, 8th place. So, 2 laps, this is quite a average size circuit for these vehicles, you know, it would take about, I'd say almost 2 minutes to complete if you are decent, you're going at a decent pace. So, as you can see, this Mazda has three gears here, there, and gone. Absolutely leaving these cars in the dust right now. Look at this beetle. Meow. Flying fast. Look at that. Left him sleeping. Sleeping. Okay. Now, I actually came in a little bit too hot. You can actually see the back is fighting me a little bit. Same as the mini in front here. I actually just want to take a minute. Look at this. That is a five second gap between me and dad so it's really a chase right now okay as you can see almost wins actually touched the grass a little bit 
could have been really bad. My eyes, my eyes are on fire. You know, one thing, Grand Turismo really good with graphics and things, but damn, to even make my eyes burn with the sun, that that's some next level dedication. That so, the gap is now two seconds between us and second place. Mm, as you can see, overhooked a little bit, kind of slowed me down. I thought actually dropped the cap to one second so i'm like wait we could possibly win this because i lost all low when i saw five second gap now just the two goals remaining we're gonna take it up the inside of the first goal and we stick it we overtake him we leave him so now we have a bit of a straight and then a final turns and then the race is over so i knew look time to put the foot down i mean it was down already but we need to close the gap and if you look carefully the golf is actually outrunning us so the mark one golf that's losing traction there in the front is actually faster than us on a straight line so i knew okay around this turn i was gonna lunge up the inside but i thought no let me take him on the inside and actually mistakenly clipped him so it's a drag race and he has the lead already as you can see he's actually pushing me and across the line so second place i hate that side i get it get off my screen get off my screen okay clean race 4500 really it's peanuts small money it's coins compared to the 7500 you would get if you came in first so we're actually gonna carry on next episode leveling up is a good way to end it so if you guys did enjoy this don't forget to leave a like and subscribe it would be greatly appreciated and i'll check you guys in the next one peace